what we're really trying to do here is get this out so we can get a good cap on the well. So any water that comes from runoff and so forth across the grass um, will will go around the cement pad and on its way instead of going right towards the hole or the footprint that we just put in the ground and and putting contaminants back into the ground. And you get contaminant, contaminants from agriculture, you know, pesticides, fertilizers, animals, people, trash, whatever, can wash right in. And that's one of the biggest problems that, that uh, we have out in the world with all the wells that have been popped in the ground um, and not taken care of properly. Um, all that contaminant from runoff just runs right down in there. In a previous video, we, uh, we bored a hole into the ground. Uh, we got in about uh, 20 some feet, 20-ish feet. We hit water. Uh, we put in our casing, we put in our gravel. So what we're gonna do today, uh, I've excavated uh, around our, our borehole. Um, I've, I've tunneled in kind of a bell hole around the pipe itself where the gravel's going in. I'm gonna pull a little bit more of that out of there. Um, I've built a simple, a simple form. This can be done with uh, old pallets or some type of wood. I measured it so it fits into my hole. I want to make sure that the uh, that the edge of my my form is above the ground, so that any water that does come around it runs around the concrete. Now this can be much bigger. Uh, I wouldn't be too much smaller, but it can be much bigger. It can be an area for people to stand on and so forth. Make sure that we've got a nice a nice shape going down on an angle, go down towards the pipe. I'm going to take this right into the gravel that is completely around the. Uh, the four inch PVC casing there. And so when we put our cement in, it goes down in around the pipe and plugs off the whole area, giving the uh, well a good cap. Now in this case, we're going to, uh, we're going to be putting in a uh, India Mark II hand pump. Um, my riser's a little short for that, but that's okay because I can add on to it. What we're gonna also set in here, we're gonna set the pedestal in here now. So everything is encased in cement and, uh, and has a good foundation. So uh, let me show you how that works. In a previous video with the EXP50, I showed you how to, uh, to clean and glue using a, a wide coupling to uh, put the pipes together. Um, and, and that's what we're gonna do here to connect these two. The, uh, the pipe is actually lower than I need for the pedestal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue and clean this, and we're gonna join this together to bring my riser up to this height. And then I'll be able to put the pedestal over the top, and we will uh, be able to go ahead and start to cement the, uh, the cap. Although this is not a video about the installation of a uh, India Mark II hand pump, um, I do want to bring up something that's kind of important at this time. When we set the pedestal in place, we want to make sure that the legs of the pedestal are going to be encased into the, uh, into the concrete cap. Um, one of the other things that we want to do is we want to make sure that the, the top of the, uh, of the pedestal is level. We want to make sure that it's level in both directions. They form a, a volcano of gravel, sand, and rock, gravel or stone, and um, then they put water in the middle of it, and then they put water in the middle, and then they start folding the outside edges of the cement and gravel and sand right into the top of this volcano and mix it up right on the ground, generally right in the spot where they're pouring it. So we're gonna go ahead and start put, packing in the cement around the pipe, the riser pipe itself, or the, uh, the casing. We're gonna get it nice and packed in there. So we're gonna just keep moving this pipe, this cement out toward the edges of the form making sure it's nice and tight around the pipe, forming a nice plug. 
We're gonna fill it all the way up to the top and then we'll, I'll show you how to just simply finish off the top. Our foreman is full all the way around. We're gonna, once we get a, this uh, last little bit in here, we'll, we'll smooth off the top and then I'll show you how to, uh, to give it a nice smooth finish out in the field. All right, we've got all the cement um, into the form that we've got mixed up. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just kind of finish this off and give it a little bit smoother, nicer looking finish than what it currently looks like after being disheveled in. So I'm just gonna move this, move this around in here a little bit, kind of even it up getting it nice and tight around the pedestal kind of kind of ramping it up a little bit towards the pedestal so we have some runoff mm. if you notice that there's a lot of there happens to be a lot of rock in this concrete uh, and what I'm simply doing by manipulating it around with my hands like this in vibrating the cement as I'm bringing the cement to the surface and making the rocks go down into the cement to bind it together well. If you have a big unruly piece of rock that won't won't go down into the cement, just pluck it out and throw it out. That's in there kind of kind of rough. We can even make it nicer if we want to by taking the edge of a piece of wood and using the form as a uh, as the basis of this. You can just kind of start to work that that concrete up. Um, in this case, we're going to kind of want to move this down towards the edge. Anything that falls off there is okay. Just let it go. But what we want to do is we want to get a nice, a nice kind of dome surface over the top of this. As you notice, we've got our, our well casing is, is higher than our pedestal. It'll be in the way when we set our pedestal head and, and tank and so forth on the pump, for the pump. But uh, what we'll do here is we'll just simply take a saw or a hacksaw blade and we'll, we'll run it right across here flush with the top of the, the uh, pedestal head and we'll, we'll cut that off flush and then we'll be able to bolt everything right back in place. Okay, to recap, what we've done here today is uh, uh, we set out to uh, to cap the well. We we dug down. We set a pedestal. We built a simple wood form. We mixed up a, a batch of uh, of concrete, gravel, and sand. We installed it, packing it in nicely around the well casing, and then brought it up to the surface and finished it off.